Jess, welcome to Gender Blenders. Hi. Hey. hey everyone. Hi Chris. How you doing? Pretty well. Okay. Um, well, I'm sort of a, a re research junkie, you know? Um, oh, in, yeah. In all areas of life, whatever interests me, I, I go ahead and uh, seek it out and try to read about it if I can. And um, I have been struggling for about a decade. Oh, <laughs> yes. It's, it's been about a decade since I came out um, to myself as trans or questioning trans and all of that. So, you know, and... Uh, I've sat down and written pro con lists. Mm. Oh yeah, choices That's a one. as far as you know, physical or medical transitioning, and you know uh, what that would change in my life for the better, for the worse. What I would be sad to let go of. But you know, I feel like those are good questions to ask yourself when considering, you know, uh, whether you should take action to create mind body congruency, or whether you know, if you're just questioning. What if it's perfectly natural and cool to have mind-body incongruency and live a life sure. with that? You know, a lot of people just um, in medical fields and whatnot right now in the climate, it's, it seems like a lot of people feel like the answer is congruency and the right. solution to incongruency is is to create a congruency and the only way we can do that is physically but some of us with incongruency have sort of a an attachment to what is going on with our right. body and right. you know um, it can be really frightening to consider whether to change things about like you know I've I've worked very hard over the years to negotiate with the, yeah. with the uh, physicality that I have. Time and, and skill. And I have energy. habits and right. you know, ways of doing things now that seem somewhat comfortable and, and right now the idea of transitioning personally seems like something that could totally mess me up and <laughs> take me off track of all my other things in my life where right. I have to relearn how to do certain things and be certain ways and hold my of course you know, yep all of that and uh sometimes people some of us control freaks that are afraid of change <laughs> would really halt <laughs> before wanting to make some drastic changes like that so you know um i also feel like this is something in the trans community that's starting to be vocalized a lot more mm -hmm. and yep. we should talk about these things where it's like you know what are the things that are, that are benefits of remaining as is, and and learning think, to love as is. I think, and that's I think that's in part because we're developing uh, multiple, realizing that the narrative is is multi multifaceted as opposed to what we were, what we thought for a long time is just being you know mono, one story, one line, one thread as opposed to lots of them. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Uh, first off put aside a certain amount of money every week to create a budget to go talk to somebody uh, who's a professional, uh, someone hopefully that you can research and find out that they have sort of experience in this in this particular topic and uh, can help you sort of talk things out. Journaling is always good. I wrote a play about it, you know, sometimes. <laughs> that kind of stuff can help, so, you know, take action. Okay.